But first tonight, a noticeable change at the former American Hebrew Academy in Greensboro. The sign signifying the school is no more. Instead, just an address in its place. Good evening, I'm Chad Silber. And I'm Julie Luck. This generic sign is just another part of the mystery about the future of the site. We know the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is leasing it to house hundreds of immigrant children, but it's unclear how it'll work and when children will be arriving. Tomorrow, some lawmakers will meet with the people responsible for making this happen. WFMY News 2's Grace Holland asked local leaders what they hope to hear tomorrow. City Council member Nancy Hoffman represents the area around the former academy set to become an influx care facility. Signage at the campus was recently changed. It no longer displays the American Hebrew Academy name and instead lists the address of the school. The facility will offer schooling, medical and legal services for unaccompanied children who came into the United States legally. The contract was finalized last month, but Hoffman says City Council has not gotten any updates from HHS since it's a private deal. She plans to take a list of questions from neighborhood groups near the facility to ask at tomorrow's meeting. They want to be certain of the security of the, the campus. Uh, they'd like to know what the timetable is. I think they want to know, um, you know how long these young people are expected to be there before they're re reunited with family members or, or guardians. Letters sent from Democratic and Republican lawmakers asked some of those same questions. Congresswoman Kathy Manning wants, to, wants HHS to address whether the unaccompanied children will travel outside of the campus and more details about health and safety protocols. The state Republican delegation wants more details about when and how the site was chosen, along with more information about the American Hebrew Academy's finances. People I spoke to who live nearby are keeping an open mind about the facility. If it involves minor children, uh, they're, they're here not do their own choice. So we should uh, try to take good care of them as much as we can. That meeting is set to happen around lunchtime tomorrow. We understand that press is not going to be allowed to attend. We'll keep you updated as we learn more.